loves, it's Tiana from Natural Lore. Hey, it's your girl, Jonna from Naturally Glam TV. And welcome to another episode of Curls Culture Couture. On this week's episode, we're going to be talking about the Charlie Sheen epidemic, Monique, and her open marriage situation. A recent Periscope that was done by Renee and Farney from Salon Noah. You're going to want to get into this tea, honey. And of course, our favorite segment and your favorite segment, Rock It or Stop It. Recently, Farney and Renee from Salon Noah broadcasted on Periscope. The topic was on caring for wigs and weeds. And they talked about a client that had come into the salon. She had had the same weave in, installed for since June. And she had not washed her hair. She had not done anything since June. It's November. So that's six months, right? Oh, man. That's a long and, time. right. So some of the things that came up in the scope that I just thought were interesting was, first of all, that you had someone who did not see anything wrong with that. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't, and she didn't question why would she not need to take care of that. Then the other question came up as far as people who are doing certain services as hairstylists or even braiders, what services should you be licensed to do and what service you shouldn't be licensed to do. And Renee mentioned that one service that you should be licensed to do is whenever you're gluing or yeah. sewing and weave, you it should be done by a licensed cosmetologist. That's the state board of Virginia. So I wonder how many people are out there installing wigs and weeds mm -hmm. that aren't licensed and people are letting them do it. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. But my question is six months without washing your hair and I'm personally not a weave wearer, though I wear wigs. I feel like there's a difference because weaves, like sewings, are too much of a commitment for me. So I like to do wigs. But I'm, John, y'all know how, if y'all follow me, y'all know how much I change my hair. Every I'm not episode, she has different hair. I'm not leaving something on my hair for six months, but she might not have been educated on it. That's why it's very important to consult a professional. <laughs> right along to some of the information that broke the internet this week and that was Charlie Sheen announcing that he is HIV positive. Not only did he announce that he was HIV positive but he also let us know that he has been HIV positive for the last at least three and a half years. Now the reason why he said that he decided to come out is because people have been extorting money from him to the sum of 10 million dollars something like that. I don't know. But when you think about it his little meltdown breakdown episode if we kind of trickle it on back, it might have been about three and a half, four years ago when he mm -hmm. went into his psychotic episode. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I did read in an article that he could possibly be facing jail time because, of course, if you know willingly that if you know that you have HIV and you willingly sleep with someone and do not inform them, that is some type of misdemeanor felony, honey, and you could do some serious jail time for that. So, uh, hopefully, Mr. Charlie Sheen was not on that slow road to you know, nowhere. My feeling with anything like that is if, if you live in your truth, nobody can use it against you. So for you to sit there and spend all of that money, when you could have told people you had HIV three years ago and just been done with it. Can you see how magic, the people love Matt, he bounced right? back. is that um, lately a lot of celebrity couples have been coming forth talking about this open marriage thing. And the most recent is Monique and her husband. She stated that no one should be able to own you and you should not be able to own anyone else. She said if sex happens with another person, that's not a deal breaker for us. That's not something we'll say, well, oh God, we need to head for divorce court because we don't cheat. She's basically saying that I mean, hey, you may have eyes for the next person, and why not go ahead out and go out there and explore if that's what you so if you, that's what you want to do as long as your partner is okay with it. Crickets. I'm a new wife. John had been in it for a minute. We collectively agreed that that's not okay. What do you think? Are you okay with? The, would you be okay with your partner saying, "Listen, 
I think it's okay if we see other people. Yeah, you my wife. Yeah, I love you. You're going to be my down. you my day one. But I might slip up and get into some other mess. Is that okay with you? I just think it's interesting because usually it's the women that are saying it. I've never heard a man say he was fine with having an open marriage and, it's, and, and giving the wife free passes. I hear about women saying why... Well, like with Toya and Myth Hits, it's like, oh, well, I gave him free passes. But where your free passes at? You didn't get the free passes. So that's technically to me, that's not an open marriage because open marriage is on both ends. So if that's not the case, it kind of just seems like more so not necessarily open marriage. But you're saying that you kind of already feel like this person is going to cheat. And that's not a deal breaker for you. Crazy. Me personally, if... The, your husband or wife sleeping with somebody else outside of marriage. If that's not a, a deer breaker for you, great. <laughs> you the real MVP. For real. If that's not a deal breaker for you. On to our favorite segment where we give you the lowdown and let you know if celebrities should rock it or stop it. Up first, we have the beautiful Zendaya. She has been on our uh segment before and she was killing it in the good way this time not so much we might have to reverse it go into the urban dictionary and use the form killing it as in cut it out and i don't even think it's so much it might be the dress too but it's the it's shoes when you when you got the shoes on with it and the face in the in the in the bun is killing you really mm, yeah, we just gonna say stop it. Then they got a nerd to be kitten heels. Kitten heels, too. All right, Zendaya, we love you. We, we, we know you're gonna be back with something that's gonna be fire, but right now, cut it out. So next up, we have Jennifer Lawrence from The Hunger Games, and we absolutely are loving this look on her. Rock it, rock it, rock it. We are loving the blonde hair. I didn't even recognize her with this blonde hair. Right. But love the blonde hair, love this outfit. It's sort of like gothic chic. She's doing the gothic look all the way right with the deep vampy lip. Like mm -hmm. the whole look is is Love fire. It. Rock it. You go girl. Moving right along. <clears throat> a lot of pink <clears throat> going on in this picture here. Yep. Tyson Beckford. He was on car on the pink carpet recently for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And normally I might be like don't do that but because it was the Victoria's Secret fashion show I think that's why he went with the pink suit I'm figuring that you could go ahead and rock this just because of where you are but don't be in the don't be regular places with this okay all right and then lastly we have a regular here on Rock It or Stop It. <laughs> you better believe Nick boy. Cannon. Normally, I would throw shade at Nick Cannon. I would say, stop it. You're a grown man. But he, he's killing it. I, I'm liking it. The shoes, they've been much. <laughs> if we can have glitter and studs on our shoes, why can't he? Right, maybe that's his little Mariah piece is the shoes there was the shade maybe. right there maybe there was the, so i'm gonna give him a rocket though <laughs> i'm gonna give him a rocket i think he looks really good everything's fitted well it's not oversized she looked like a grown man and that brings us to the end of another episode of girls watch a couture ah! thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this week's episode and we hope that you join us again for the next episode make sure you follow us on social media we love to hear from you guys so make sure you shout us out leave comments below let us know what you thought of what we talked about in this week's episode and we'll see you guys next time later Wait, is it a bunny this time? Is it a bunny? It, you you kind of went bunny. It was it. a wave. Oh, it was, it was a wave. It was a wave. I oh. Hit the palm. Up, down, low, swing your arms. Hey, okay. And mm, I want to say yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> right? Did you email me or text me? No, I text you. Yeah, I've been, I've been texting. Nah, no. I've been texting. I've been texting. All right, let's get on into our favorite segment, Rock It or Stop It, where we give celebrities the business. <laughs> Girl, you was trying. 
<laughs> you tried. Reach. No, neck down. It looks like one of your grandmother's like old couches. Not my grandmother. Plastic. No, but a grandmother, not somebody's grandmother. Would you, you tell John I wasn't coming for her grandmother? <laughs> your grandmother. Maybe yours. No, a grandmother. <laughs> you know grandmother's like the deal in that. And your grandmother has a couch that looks She like might, and it might have the plastic on it. And that has exactly the plastic what this looks on it. When it yes. Leave a and then comment. she has, and then she has fur pill throw pillows. That's <laughs> Yikes. <laughs>